Well, hello, Internet. Today I am going to do what I hope will be the definitive explanation of how to write HTML. I know that's really going out there. I'm going to keep making changes until everybody who wants to know HTML knows it. It's not very complicated. A web browser basically reads HTML, which is just a text file filled with tags, and tags are just words or individual characters in angled brackets that tell the browser what test needs emphasis, is a paragraph, where to get images, how to take a visitor to another page, etc. There are 89 total tags, but most of the time you'll only use 20. Here are the most common tags. First off, doc type defines what type of document you're using. This will almost always be the same on every HTML page you ever create, so you don't even need to know what this is. Just cut and paste it. A, right here, defines a link that, if clicked, will take the user to another web page. B, tells the browser that you wish for the text to be surrounds to be bolded. Body, tells the browser that this is the beginning of the main content of your web page. This little guy here, creates a line break, it skips to the next line. EM italicizes the text between these tags. Form defines an area in which the visitor can interact with your website, creates a form area. H1 to H6 defines text that you want to emphasize, normally a title. Between the head tag, you would describe the content of your document. HR draws a, draws a horizontal line on your web page. HTML defines the beginning and ending of your HTML page. IMG tells the browser you wanted to insert an image. LI defines an item in a list you wish to bullet. OL tells the browser an ordered list is about to be defined. P defines that a paragraph of text is being defined. Table defines there's a table. Title is where you put the title of your web page. And UL tells the browser that an unordered list is to be defined. And that is basically all you need to know about tags in HTML. I'll cover all the tags in detail for completion reasons throughout the rest of this presentation. First off, here's the doc type that you would copy and paste into your web page. This starts off every HTML file. Then, the way I have this set up, these are what are called block quotes. I have descriptions here of what the HTML is. So this is the HTML that is not in blue boxes. So after you define doc type, you would then tell the browser that your HTML code is about to begin, and you do that by having bracket HTML. That's it. Then you define your heading. Remember, heading is where you define describe the content of your web page. Then this line, again, copy and paste, tells the browser what language you're writing in. This area here, the style, will define um, any changes that you want to make in regards to style. For example, I'm telling it here that I want everything that is enclosed in H1 brackets or tags to be the color red. Here we have link, rel equals style sheet. This tells the browser that it should go pick up the this file and style all of your text based off of what this file tells you. Again, this is something that will be covered in the Cascading Style Sheets tutorial coming up. This is where you would provide a description of what is on your web page. Here is where you would define any keywords that you wish to associate with your web page. Meta name equals keywords content, fill in the keywords. Here you would define, if you like, the author of the web page. Title is where you would provide the title of your web page. Obviously, you would want to put a closing tag at the end of the title section so that the browser is aware that the title has ended. And you always want to put a closing tag. Here is the closing tag for your header section of your HTML file. Now we're going to tell the browser that your content is about to begin. In the head section, you are going to be defining what your document is about mainly title, descriptions, and keyword. Body is where you actually have your content. You would open up that with the body section. Then we're going to have a heading. 
This is again another tag. And you can see here examples of an H1 header, an H2 header, an H3, the whole way to H6. Again, just to close the text within the tags. This is an abbreviation tag. You can see what it does right here. When I put my mouse over top of the abbreviation tag, it puts a little pop-up right there. This is what is shown when somebody puts a mouse over top of the abbreviated link. The acronym does pretty much the exact same thing. As you can see, this is displayed. When a person puts a mouse over it, this is what shows up. And this is what the tag looks like if you want that feature. You can see here, I use this B tag or bold tag to bold the text. I use the big tag to make the text bigger. Block quote, this is actually a block quote. Normally, however, block quotes are just indented, but I have a style for my block quote. We'll go over that in the uh, Cascading Style Sheets tutorial. If I want to center text, like I did right here, I would just place a center tag around it with a closing center tag. Want to draw emphasis or to italicize text, I would use the EM tag. If I wanted to draw a horizontal rule, I would just type in HR forward slash in a closing bracket. Here's another way to italicize your text with the I tag. With the P tag, you can define a paragraph. With a Q tag, you can define a quote. If I wanted to draw a line through my text, I would use the S tag, strike through. Small would make the text smaller. Strong would make the text larger and bolded. And to finish off the descriptions of the major tags, I will show you right here, subscript and superscripted. And I skipped over a couple tags, but I'm going to be covering them later on in the presentation. Real quickly here, I'll go over the image tag. Basically, an image tag looks like this, and I'll show you what all of this information means. Image basically tells the browser that an image is about ready to be displayed. Source, SRC in this case, tells the browser where the image is located, and you can have this be anywhere, even on a website that you do not own. Alt tells the browser that you want alternative text to be displayed if the person cannot see the photograph. Height defines how big you want the text or the image to be, and width defines how wide, obviously. And that's basically all there is to know in regards to image tags. There are other attributes you could use, but they're considered to be in, in bad standing um, in, in the current world. Um, but basically just leave it at that. So these are all that you need to know in regards to defining an image. In the next presentation, I'm going to go over all of the list tags to create different lists and proceed onwards from there. Hope this helps.